industrial golden ladder matches, winner take all tag team matches, and a fatal five way to determine your new NXT champion, Bay Bay. We are stacked this Sunday for NXT in your house with five stellar matches, and here are my predictions for NXT TakeOver in your house. Bronson Reed and MSK taking on Legato del, um, del Fantasma. Now to me, this kind of backs you into a corner because it's very obvious that Bronson Reed and MSK are going to take the win. I don't think that Bronson Reed would have such a short North American title run, especially since they played that emotional video package talking about how it was 14 years to the day of Bronson's first match and he won North American title. So why would he have such a short reign? I have no idea. Now, if you did two separate matches, it gives you room for MSK to lose, which, I mean, it can make sense. MSK's held on to the title since Stand and Deliver, so they can lose it. But because it's a winner-take-all match, I do not see Bronson Reed losing the Dr. Margaret Championship so early, which is why I am taking Bronson Reed and MSK to win. I don't know what's next for the God Del Phantasma either, because... If you're going to try to bring them up to the main roster, which I believe they're going to when the draft happens later in August, you need something for them to do. And if they lose this match, I don't know what you're going to do with them. Next, we have, for the NXT Women's Championship, we have Ember Moon versus Raquel Gonzalez. And this one is kind of obvious. <laughs> I'm going with Raquel Gonzalez here. I think everyone is here to put over the younger talent. Raquel Gonzalez has had ultimately a very dominant reign. I also think that we're getting closer and closer to the demise of the pairing between Dakota Kai and Raquel Gonzalez. To me, I would kind of start with that little bickering and stuff to have that be the NXT TakeOver SummerSlam Women's Title Match. Do I think that's going to happen? No way, but I feel good hope if you put her in the creative room. But this match should be really good. Ember's really good in putting over the younger talent, which I believe is her job right now in NXT. So I am going with Raquel Gonzalez. And sticking with the women's division, we're going to go with Zia Lee and Mercedes Martinez. Now, ever since Casey Carrizaro and Kaden Carter have been taken out by Zia Lee, we haven't really seen much of her. And with rumors that Mercedes Martinez is going up to the main roster with Eva Marie, I'm going with Zia Lee here. I think you want to put her more on the USA Network for NXT because she is a very different character with this heelish form of her. So I think having her win here is going to make her look more dominant if you're going to feature her a lot more. So I'm going to go with Zia Lee. I don't want Mercedes Martinez to go with Eva, but it seems like that's the rumor. It's either her or Piper Niven. So if Mercedes is moving up on Monday, congratulations. But Zia Lee for the win. And now for our million dollar championship match. The industrial gold ladder with money signs. Cameron Grimes and L.A. Knight. Now this is the match I'm most looking forward to. Especially with the use of the million dollar championship belt. And part of me really wants to pick L.A. Knight. Because he really hasn't gotten any monumental win since being on NXT. But I feel the same thing for Cameron Grimes. And I feel like... You could do a lot more with Grimes in this than LA Knight. So I'm going to go with Cameron Grimes to the moon, baby. This should be a really good match. And I could totally just see Cameron Grimes just flaunting around the Million Dollar Championship all throughout NXT. I don't know if this title is going to be defended with NXT. I don't know what exactly is the plan. Is Ted DiBiase just going to show up Sunday and then leave? So these are all questions I would love if y'all want to answer that in the comments. What's next for Ted DiBiase? But I'm going to go... Cameron Grimes. And like I said, this is the match I'm really looking forward to and I hope that they kill it. And from here we go on to the fatal five-way match to determine your new NXT champion. Now to me, let's do this process of elimination. Johnny Gargano does not need this, which is why I believe that Johnny Gargano is taking the pin. Kyle O'Reilly, I feel like he needs a one-on-one -on -one match to very much cement his own legacy in NXT, so I don't see him winning here either. Now, that leaves Adam Cole, Pete Dunne, and carrying across. 
Pete Dunne to me, I could definitely see them putting it on him, but I feel like that's, that's not the direction NXT is going in right now. Do I see him eventually getting that title? Yes. Does he deserve it? Yes. Is he ready? Yes. But like I said, don't think that's Triple H's vision. So that leaves Karrion Cross and Adam Cole. Now, when they first announced this Fatal 5-Way match, I wasn't really looking forward to it. To me, main events should not be more than four people if it's not a gimmick match, meaning a Royal Rumble, an Elimination Chamber, a six-way scramble. In a basic Fatal 5-Way, I feel like, although the competitors in this are really good, it might not be as good as most of you expect. But to me, with Adam Cole's great promo two weeks ago, I think it's time to put the title back on Adam. I also think that Adam's going to have a very short reign. I could see him kind of being a placeholder for Kyle and that headlining the NXT TakeOver SummerSlam weekend. And I could see Kyle trying to like fight through number one contender matches and then just the promos between both of them and Kyle just saying, you know, I beat you at NXT Stand Deliver, I have your number, I'm going to do it this time. Because even going back to Ring of Honor and a couple of their other promotions, it's always been that way. Where Adam was always on top and Kyle's fighting and fighting and fighting and he can never do it. So what a great storybook ending if Kyle does it. Summer Slam Weekend. So I'm going with Adam Cole. Bay. Bay. Now make sure to leave in the comments below what your NXT TakeOver in your house predictions are. My review will be up Monday morning at 10 a.m. So make sure to look out for that. And make sure to look out tomorrow for my AEW review and my SmackDown review. I mean, come on, we got to read Rollins' drip suits, right? And that's all for me. I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys.